The social media has recently been set alight by a late phone call purportedly putting faces to persons deeply involved in the fake gold scam. In the clip, a voice allegedly belonging to Bungoma Senator Moses Rutangula and another individual are captured discussing the seized fake gold. Yes, brother. What's happening, Moses? How are you? Not very good. I don't know what to answer because today is Sunday. No, something is happening. What's, what's, what's going on? Raila met with the head of state on this matter. Okay. And explained to him. Yes. Uh, and uh, the head of state has called uh, the minister. Yes, but you are very easy. The minister is your partner. Why you have to uh, to go to the the other guy? I don't understand. Let me just tell you what okay. is happening. Okay. He's, he's seeing him tomorrow. Yes. He's my neighbor. I've seen him this morning. And he's told me the head of state has been away in Mauritius for a week. He will see him tomorrow. And he says, hopefully, in the course of the week, we will be able to finish up this matter once and for all. Clearly displaced by this turn of events, the director of public prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, wants the leaked audio clip validated. In a statement on Saturday evening, the DPP noted the circulation of such unverified recordings to the public without proper investigations could cause alarm and disaffection. Haji disclosed that he had received information from victims of the fake gold scam, noting that he is aware the suspect had been dealing with them for quite some time while invoking the name of the president before they realized they had been conned. The situation at hand prompting the DPP to instruct the Inspector General of Police to expedite investigations on the matter and present the file to him within a period of seven days for action. He further urged citizens with information to volunteer it, assuring them of confidentiality. Nancy Okware, Channel One News.